the commitments made by the DPRK and reported by the South Korean Special Envoys to enter into negotiations on denuclearization and to refrain from testing during these negotiations could create the necessary conditions towards a negotiated solution. The summit meeting between President Moon and Kim Jong-un in April could foster the necessary trust, de-escalate tensions and improve the inter-Korean relations. President Trump's readiness to accept the invitation to a summit by May represents another potential breakthrough towards a diplomatic solution that we would encourage very much. The European Union strongly supports the complete, verifiable and irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. All our efforts have been targeted towards achieving this goal and working together with our partners uh, in Seoul uh, in this direction. We therefore strongly support the policy and the high-level diplomatic initiatives by the Republic of Korea. We share the view that pressure through sanctions and dialogue leading to negotiations should go hand in hand. And I want to express all our support, but also personal admiration to your wise leadership, the President's wise leadership, in bringing us all, because this is a global threat and it's a global challenge, bringing us closer to our common goal of a denuclearized peninsula. Minister Kang, thank you very much for being with us today. And thank you very much for your leadership and courage. Uh, that the developments on the Korean Peninsula have been rapid and encouraging, and I'm very uh, delighted with this opportunity to explain the full background of these recent developments, but also to express our gratitude to the European Union's policy of critical engagement with the DPRK, which very much has gone hand in hand with our own policy on the North Korean nuclear issue, one of pressure and sanctions on the one hand, but also seeking dialogue towards a peaceful resolution on the issue. On the other hand, that at every critical moment in the past year, the European Union and you, High Representative in particular, has been very much on the same message with us. And I think it is the joint efforts of all of us that has led North Korea to change its calculations and come to dialogue. Thank you.